Hey, I'm coming in with another message today. Adulting. That's the message I have right now is adulting and what adulting looks like or examples of adulting. So first, let's start with multitasking. I feel like that's a key opponent or something you need to have with adulting. If you can't multitask, you really not be an adult in my eyes. In my opinion. Now, if you agree with me, you agree with me. If you don't, you don't to each his own. But adulting and multitasking definitely run hand in hand. Because think about everything after that. Or everything that goes with it. Either goes with it or after multitasking. You need to be able to pay your bills. If you got kids, you got to be able to take care of your kids. If, like me, you got schooling going on, you need to be able to do schooling. If you work a job, you got to work a job. Now, what if you got all them things? Multitasking. <laughs> you see what I'm getting at? Adulting, you need to know how to multitask and have multiple things on your plate. You have to. Did I say it right before? You need to know how to multitask in order to adult. Really, if you multitasking, you are an adult. Yep. If you multitasking properly, you're an adult. That's adulting. If you're multitasking, you're adulting. You're handling your business as you should. Okay. Now, another thing I realized, now mind y'all, I'm 23 and I realized as a young adult, another thing with adulting is being a minimalist. Okay. That's key too. being a minimalist will actually help you multitask better. And being a minimalist is basically not having so much junk and stuff. It's also planning, having an agenda. And not just having your agenda just all over the place and scattered. Being a minimalist also, it's basically knowing the things you need and sticking to those things. Not just having just so much of everything. But, and yeah, okay. So basically being a minimalist, I'm more saying your environment needs to only have what you need in a little and some to it. <laughs> or and some. And one. <laughs> but like my apartment, for example. If you step in here, you will see I'm a minimalist. It's basically, yeah, being a minimalist is basically adding coordination to your life or lifestyle. And then from there, you can multitask better. Okay. It helps you focus better, basically. Minimalizing clutter, drama, whatever is not needed, even some of the things that are needed will help you focus, okay? Because you can't have too much of things that you do like, okay? Because you do have to create some type of self-boundaries. That's what I'm getting at, yeah. But you definitely don't need too many of things that you don't need or don't like. <laughs> okay. But yes, adulting is minimalizing, multitasking. Since I'm on a M wave, I guess, right now, I'll throw in manifestate, manifesting. Manifestation, manifesting, either or, tomato, tomato, okay? Yes, that's another thing with being an adult. 
not taking things too serious, okay? So yeah, tomato, tomato, okay? It don't gotta be perfect. Everything does not have to be perfect. That's another thing, yeah. That's what I'm getting at. As adult, things don't have to be too serious and things don't have to be too perfect, okay? That's what, yeah, I've been realizing as a young adult. And really, them few things right there, basically not taking things, everything to heart, long story short, basically them, that last thing I just said was not taking everything to heart, manifesting, multitasking, and minimalizing things, them few things right there will make you happier in your adult life, okay? Basically, it, those things will just make your adult life easier and happier. To sum everything up, you'll be easy, going, happy-go-lucky, all that. And you'll be glowing and just <laughs> living life. Negative things will roll off. Positive things will stick. Okay? Speaking of stick, I'm wrapping this up. Make sure you stick around <laughs> and continue to join me in my journey and follow me. And we're going to keep having these discussions, okay? Until next time. <laughs>